Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest. .com. And today I'm going to show you how to make these really lightweight, cute little um, bird houses right here. And you can use these as miniature tree ornaments, um, journal charms, or even cute little necklace pendants to pass out to the ladies um, during your holiday celebration. And these were really inexpensive to make. I made these with a little one inch wide craft sticks. They look like tongue depressors and they have them at Walmart and other craft stores. Now I did get the little um, stickers from Hobby Lobby. If you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you, please don't worry about it because I give you ideas on what else you can make. And I also give you information on the little um, metal book corners here that I ordered uh, along with the seller's name and um, another place that you can also pick these up at. So with that said, I hope you stay tuned because these really are easy to make. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is some Super Jumbo craft sticks. And they look just like this. Um, they look like tongue depressors. And I believe I purchased this 45 pack from Walmart. Um, they do have these though at just about every craft store and they are approximately one inch in width okay and um, let me put this aside okay so what I did was I just cut off the top here with these long blade scissors and I purchased these scissors from um, Dollar General and they were under three dollars and I have to say these are some of the best, really strong long blade scissors I've had in a while. And on the side here it says Art Skills. That's the name, the brand name, Titanium. So anyway, that's just a little tip. Now, um, after lopping off the end, um, I measured this. I put two little pencil marks on each side. I just lined it up, you know, with um, on my mat here, and I measured an inch and a half okay that's how long your birdhouse is going to be and with each stick you should get at least four birdhouses out of this okay so I'm just going to cut this again like that all right and um, if it's a little rough you can take um, a fingernail file but don't do it too much just do it a few times lightly because you don't want to splinter this wood. Now once you paint this and start adding other things this will be very strong so you know don't worry about that. Okay so um, I'm going to set this aside and the next thing we're going to do is you're going to get a, um, a round toothpick. Okay let me get one of these out of here. And you can take your, your flush cutters or your wire cutters, anything you want, and just snip off the top and just cut a piece off like this. And this is going to be our little perch, all right? And I'm going to place it down towards, towards the bottom, okay? not up high like this or this because you won't have room for everything. I would say about here and just kind of make it even as you can. Okay. And see if there's any little splinters or anything like that. Just nip them off. All right, I'm going to use my um, Fabri-Tac glue, but you can use any glue that you have. And it doesn't need a ton to stick. Alright. So I'm going to place it right down here. Make sure that it's on there. <laughs> Make sure it's 
even on both sides. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I'm going to allow this to dry thoroughly. Okay, so once this part is dry, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to snip off a corner like that and do the same thing here. And you might be asking, well, how much should I snip off? Well, that's kind of up to you, but I do it just to where it looks like a little birdhouse, like that. Okay, now we're going to be covering this top part. However, you still need to cut these off because um, we're going to be fitting the roof on. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. But before we start that, we're going to paint our little birdhouse and I like to use these little Brillo basics you can get a two pack at the Dollar Tree and it's the cheap sponge it's not the real sponge it's the synthetic ones okay and I like to use these to to paint with because they make a beautiful texture um, last Christmas I made a jar um, I painted a jar using this and it turned out just beautiful. Okay, so you can adjust the size you want, but I think I'm going to use about that size. And I'm using the Folk Art Multi Surface Paint. It's a satin acrylic paint, and it's called Wicker White. Okay, now. I purchased this on Amazon because um, I wasn't going to be able to get to a craft store and I paid two dollars and fifteen cents on Amazon with free shipping and they delivered it the next day so that was really nice and I love this stuff you only have to do one coat on these little bird houses and it covers it just just great just fantastic okay now what I like to do while I'm painting this is I like to kind of hold it down in place with a toothpick and I just dip it in the paint and just sponge a little off okay, just like that and then I just pounce it going up and down and one coat will do just perfectly okay and then that's what I do I just you know and it leaves a really nice texture and you're just gonna paint right over the little perch at the bottom here and if you are um, having trouble getting in the very corners of the perch with a sponge all you need to do is just take another little toothpick I'll show you like this this is what I did just take another little toothpick and put it in the white paint and then just kinda do this along the edges and then go over it with a sponge Okay, and I do that at the top too. Really gets it in there. And then just take the sponge and just just like that. Okay. So you're going to allow this to dry thoroughly and let me tell you, your tabletop fan comes in very handy. This will dry pretty quickly with that. And then you're going to pick it up and do the sides right here, all the way around. And when that dries, you're going to do the back. Okay? So we want it thoroughly covered, all right? So as soon as you do that and everything's dried, you know, make sure it's not tacky. Um, if you want, it might be even beneficial to let it dry overnight just for the heck of it. Maybe make a whole bunch of these up the day before. Um, but uh, let everything dry and then I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, so after all the paint dries, what I did was I used this opal glitter medium and I purchased this from Hobby Lobby it's by Masters Touch Fine Art Studio 
and this is in where all of the um, the canvases are and the oil paints you know the the paint supplies for artists and this was originally $8.99 but of course I didn't pay that I would never pay that price for this I waited until this was on sale and I got it for 50% off I believe now um, you can check the ads usually they'll have the painting supplies like that on sale once or twice a month okay and this is really pretty I love it because it's like a gel but when it dries um, it flattens and it becomes hard like a regular paint and it has kind of an opal shine to it I don't know if you can see it or not and this washes off with just water which is also really nice this is the way it looks like inside as you can see I've always already used quite a bit but this is just like a like a gel it's kind of neat <laughs> and so what I did was I just used my finger and spread it on here with my finger and um, allowed it to dry I do allow this to dry overnight I didn't do the back you can do the back if you want but I didn't do it this time but it'll flatten the gel well once it dries and this is how it turns out it gives it a nice sparkle doesn't come off at all glitter stays put so I really like this Okay, so I'm going to put this aside and pretend that we did this together <laughs> okay so these little book corners here they're metal book corners I'll show them to you up close like this that's what they look like they have them in gold and silver but I ordered the gold and um, I ordered them from AliExpress I typed in the words metal book corners and this popped up it's 26 millimeter by 26 millimeter by 6 millimeter now some of them are 5 millimeter wide that's fine either one will work this one is 40 pieces and I paid two dollars and forty four cents plus a dollar five for shipping okay now this did take a while to get here I think it took three or four weeks alright you can also find these on Amazon but I don't know if that includes the little hole now I have to tell you this little tiny hole here that you see in the corner that came as a surprise to me because when I ordered them from AliExpress I didn't see any little holes like this in the picture but it was a happy accident because I thought oh, you could hang a little charm from there so it worked out perfect I was so happy <laughs> so um, if yours doesn't happen to come with a little hole this is what you can do I have this vintage bottle cap punch and you can buy it on Amazon I'll go ahead and put a link on my blog at happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com um, showing you know where you can find this on Amazon I think it's twelve dollars and ninety five cents right now oh and I will also include a link to this seller on my um, blog as well when the page opens just scroll past all of my pattern links and when you see the picture of this project everything will be right there for you okay so anyway as I was going to say um, these little bottle cap punches they come with two sizes that you just screw on okay and you can just do this if you want see how I'm sliding this part in here and I'll probably want it towards the very edge and look how this just goes through just like butter and look you've got your little hole there you can put it on any side you want okay so I just wanted to show you that all right and um, so we're gonna take these little girls 
Now this is going to make your life a whole lot easier uh, by doing this, okay? You're going to want to put the little charm that you want to use, you're want, going to want to put that on first, okay? Now it could be a little 6 millimeter or a little 4 millimeter charm, and if you don't um, have any charms and you're not sure how to make them, you can always purchase them at any craft store, any little dangle charms. I would not do anything over a 6 millimeter though. Okay, that's just a little tip there. Now let's see, I'm going to use a 6 millimeter jump ring that I, I purchased all my jump rings from Hobby Lobby. the six millimeter jump ring, put the little bead dangle here, and just slip this through. Yeah, you don't want to put the roof on first before doing this. Like I said, it'll make your life so much easier. There we go. See the little dangle? Now there's something else that's going to make your life easier. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go dig in my jump rings again. Ah, sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. Where did I... I just had my jump rings. Where in the world did I put them? Okay, I found it. Sorry about that. Sometimes I think I'm losing it. Okay, um, I'm using a 9mm jump ring that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to open it up like that. Now watch this, okay. Now this is the roof. We're just going to slide it in between like that. And then we're going to close it like that, okay. So it's just like that. And believe me, you want to do this first, okay. So you have all that put together. Let me move all this out of the way now. And then we're going to, let's see. Okay. I'm going to take this and we're going to take our fabric tack. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there, okay, and you can do this here in the back too if you want, just on the sides, you don't need a ton, because we're going to squeeze the book, book ends to this. And so we're just going to slide this on. And you want to make sure you're able to hang this. Okay, so you want a little bit of space at the top. Alright, so I think right about there is good. Yeah. Alright. And just... Right here in the middle, we're going to take our flat nose pliers and give it a gentle squeeze. Same here. Gentle squeeze. And you don't want to put too much of a squeeze down here at the end. Just stay kind of uh, more here and up, okay? And don't squeeze in the middle. Leave that open. And you're not going to squeeze super hard. We're just giving it a little squeeze just to make it fit, okay? And um, when that glue dries too, of course, it won't move around or anything, all right? So we want it to look like this, all right? 
Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do and is we're going to take I used dark green, you can use any color you want. I used the little 5 eighths of an inch circle punch. Um, you can use any circle punch you want. I didn't buy this punch specifically for this, I just had it on hand and this seemed to work really well. And so I'm just going to take my Fabri-Tac, just put a little in the middle. place it about here, about like that, okay, just allow it to dry, and then right here in the middle, I found these really cute little um, holly berry leaves, and these were at Hobby Lobby, of course, where all the Christmas stickers are. You know how they have those individual little racks with four sides to them and they place them all the way down the um, middle of the store with all of the Christmas stuff on. And that's where all the stickers are. And these are really tiny. I just picked these up this year. You get 28 pieces and I did not pay $2.99. I got these for 40% off. So um, I'll go ahead and put one of these tiny little stickers right here in the middle. Now I know these are sticky already but I like to put just a teeny tiny dab just to give it some extra sticking power. <laughs> And I'm going to put this at the top. I'm going to kind of slide it over. You want the berries to be kind of in between the roof there. All right. Like that. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our little birds on here. And they have these also at Hobby Lobby. And there are six pieces. I've already used two of them. And these were $2.49, but they're 40% off, okay? Now, if you can't find these, um, I'll have to, I tell, <laughs> excuse me, oh, get my words straight. If you can't find these, don't worry about it. During Christmas time, you're going to see a lot of little cardinal stickers, and you can use those. I was also thinking that um, I could use the teeny tiny stickers that... Hobby Lobby carries um, for Christmas. They had like little gingerbread men, little snowmen. They were so cute and um, they were smaller than this but I was thinking as my mind was wandering that I could even make this into like a little gingerbread birdhouse. Maybe put one of those tiny little gingerbread men stickers here um, with a snowman. I could maybe um, you know, put some little tiny, teeny tiny snowflakes and the tiny little snowman here. You know, I, I don't know, my mind was just kind of wandering. <laughs> so um, don't be discouraged if you don't live near a Hobby Lobby or, you know, you can't find any cardinal stickers. So um, check at Michael's too. Sometimes Recollections brand has stickers too. But anyway, I'm talking too much as usual. But let me... Let me open this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, even though it has sticky stuff on it already, I'm going to kind of peel that off the back. Um, they have like the flat back rhinestones do, where you can peel off that sticky part okay so that's what I want to do first because part of the tail is going to be hanging over the birdhouse um, you don't need to put any glue on the tail you just take um, this little bird here and just put just enough to make the bird stick 
you don't want to put too much on and I'll tell you why because you don't want it to come out over the sides and end up on this which is construction paper because then it'll look really messy okay and you're gonna set the little bird down just like that okay put her beak right here to the edge a little bit of her tail is hanging over now isn't that cute so far all right so now I think I have I have some uh, red and white Baker's twine in there so I think I'm going to get some and then slip this through I think it looked really cute on her. okay so I'm going to measure out about 12 inches of this twine I bought this Baker's twine a couple years ago at a thrift store of all places and I thought it was such a nice quality very thick and I recognized this right here right away wonder shop and of course it said Target and when I bought this this was brand new it hadn't even been used and it had a price tag of six dollars on it but they wanted it for practically nothing if I remember right I think I paid like a dollar maybe something like that this has been the best stuff and I've used it so many times and I swear it doesn't seem like I've even touched it <laughs> okay and I think I'm gonna do a little overhand knot just for the heck of it And I'm going to leave it open because, as you know, I like to leave this part open until I decide if I want to use this as an ornament or to place on somebody's gift bag or gift, okay? But I think it turned out really cute and I'd love to see your ideas. And um, by the way, they also have this roof here, this book corner. Um, in silver uh, through the cellar that I told you about and they also carry this in mixed gold and silver now it didn't say whether um, you got even numbers of silver and gold together you might not some sellers will say that and you might get mostly gold and just a few silver you know but um, Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this today. These were fun to put together. You take care, and God bless each and every one of you, and have a very, very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.